here we are with the, the Asus Rampage 5 Extreme here. Um, I got the Intel the 5820K in it, um, the cheapest one. Um, I just figured I would do a little uh, UEFI overview of this board. Um, I did it on the previous uh, Gigabyte G1 Gaming Wi-Fi. Um, I sent that one back and I got this one to replace it um, due to some issues. Um, so I figured I would do another UEFI overview on this one as well. Um, there is lots going on, of course, on all the ROG boards. There always is. Um, I previously had a Maximus 5 formula. And yeah, there's a lot on here. And on here there is even more. Um, but this is the easy mode. Um, there's two different modes. You have advanced and easy. Um, I believe it just goes to advanced right away, um, which makes sense. Um, probably won't want to use easy mode on this type of board. Um, it won't quite make a whole lot of sense, but it is there. Pretty much gives you the time, the date, um, bias version, CPU, speed, memory, core voltage, motherboard temperatures, um, memory statuses, what I have plugged into the SATA, my two two drives in there, um, XMP profile loaded, um, CPU fan, see the spin in there, the RPMs, Q fan control, boot sputter, all that good stuff. Um, but I don't use that, so it's either just click here or F7 for advanced, but by default this is where it goes anyways. Um, Pretty much right on the main screen here, we start out with our bias version. This is 0706, which is from October 6th. Um, well, all kinds of good stuff here. I rod 1, 2, and 3 versions. Um, some of the stuff I don't even know what it is. Um, processor speed, memory, memory frequency, English, the date, security, which I, I don't use. Pretty much the next tab would be the extreme tweaker here. Um, that's that's where most of the, the good stuff is. Um, you see I have XMP profile loaded, you have auto manual XMP. Um, I automatically loaded my memory timings and frequency. Um, that's your CPU strap, which is done auto. PLL, on auto again. Um, filter PLL. BLCK frequency, which I just leave at 100. I never touched it. Um, I know, I think when you hit like 2800 megahertz memory, something like that, that'll bump up to 125, I believe. Um, multi core enhancement, not sure what it does, but I just leave it on auto. And we got our core limit ratios for our turbo up. Um, each one set to 45, so it will go up to 4.5 gigahertz since that is times the 100 multiplier. Our base frequency, I mean, um, the minimum it will drop down to is 30, which would be, uh, all right, that's on the cache, which would be 3 gigahertz, min and max on the cache. Um, I never tried bumping the cache up on the gigabyte board. If I did, it would fail to boot. It, would, it wouldn't post. Um, on here, I haven't even attempted it. Probably should. Um, oops, no, we don't want to exit. PLL voltage, auto. DRAM frequency auto loop. Stream tweaking is enabled. Um, enabled, disabled. CQ level up. This is just for the built in overclocking profiles, which I don't use. I see it's close to 3.8 to 4.2, but you can get more out of it. Um, power saving disabled. Um, here's the DRAM timing controls. Um, there are tons and tons and tons. Um, most of the stuff I have no clue what it's for, um, but there are a ton of them. I mean, it goes and goes and goes, and there we go. There's a lot of stuff. DRAM swizzling, enhanced training. Um, I <laughs> not a clue. Um, I.O. control, there's more memory stuff. I mean, it's, it's just limitless. How much you can actually uh, do with this. RTL, I.O.L. control. Um, it's just everything is all auto. 
I don't touch any of it. I load the XMP profile and that was good. Memory presets. And this is for if you know what kind of memory is actually on your memory modules. Um, you can actually kind of pick a like an overclocked preset for it already. Um, you got the IC analyzer, which is kind of neat. Um, determine what type of memory you have. Um, you can actually follow these steps and kind of through trial and error you'll find out which type of memory you actually have. Um, such as Micron, um, what else? Hynix, and then also Samsung. Depending on which one of these works or doesn't work for you in these steps, tell you which kind of memory you have, and then you can load the profile. external DG Plus power control here, um, load line calibration, I got our max all the way out at 9, DRM switching frequency, phase power control, power duty control, extreme, extreme, current capability, um, load line calibration stuff is, is nice to have, that when you're under load your voltage stays pretty stable, it barely moves if any at all. Lots of base control stuff going on. Um, then we got Tweaker's Paradise. Um, we got some more goodies in here. Um, BL, BCLK amplitude, auto, lower, normal, higher. As usual, most of the stuff is auto. Um, Gen 3 preset, PCIe clock amplitude, crosstalk cancellation voltage. I mean, not a clue. Internal CPU power management, speed step technology enabled, turbo mode enabled, because I do want it to turbo up and down as needed. Save a little bit of juice, heat, um, long duration package power limit, I mean, all kinds of stuff. It's unreal. Then we got our GPU core voltage, I'm in adaptive mode. Offset 2.9. I think that can actually be a little lower. And this is just where I had it on the gigabyte board, so I just put in the same numbers on this one. Um, haven't had any issues, but I sure I could drop it. Um, cache voltage 1.256 or 1.25 override, but it's, it fluctuates a little, as you can see. CPU input voltage for the entire CPU package, it's always going to be higher. Um, DRAM voltage, standard 1.2 volts. CH core voltage, IO voltage, CPU, whatever. I mean, it's just it's crazy how much there is. Termination voltage. VTD DDR voltage, VPP DDR voltage. I think that is pretty much it for the extreme menu. We got the advanced CPU configuration, um, CPU signature, microcode patch, max speed, min speed. Um, number of cores, hyper-threading, yes, the 12 threads, VTX technology, yes, 64-bit, um, of course, um, CPU C3, C6 state, C7 state, hyper-threading, all, yes, not disabled. Thermal monitor, CPU ID maximum, max disabled disable bit, virtualization technology, that is off for me, I don't use it. Boot performance mode, max performance, max efficiency, not sure what the difference is. Maximum CPU core temperature. Active processor cores. Enabled, 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 so you can actually turn your individual cores off. Maybe for testing purposes or something. Power management for the processor. C states, auto, turbo mode enabled, speed step enabled. PCH configuration, PCI lanes, PCIe speed, um, just 
auto for Gen 3. I imagine you can specify one or two. I don't know why you'd want to, but you can. Storage configuration. Smart status on. I'm using RAID because I have the two SSDs in RAID. Um, auto plug off. These ones here. I have a one terabyte drive put in there. Western Digital Green. The rest is all empty. System Agent DMI configuration enabled. Northbridge PCIe configuration. You can set your link speed one, two, and three. Most likely it would just be three or auto. It's auto for me. VT for direct I.O. Um, VTD that is disabled on here. I don't have any use for it. That allows um, like a hardware pass through when you run in some type of virtualization such as a VMware ESXi. Um, I run that in an actual server, so there's no point on here. MCTP, not sure what that is. And ACS control, not sure what that is either. Uh, USB configuration. Tells me three keyboards and mouse and seven hubs. I'm not sure how I have three keyboards, but okay. Um, <laughs> XHCI mode, smart auto, legacy support, um, handoff, hand. Uh, XHCI and EHCI handoffs. Um, single port USB control. You can actually turn individual USB ports on and off for some odd reason. Platform miscellaneous control, um, PEG support, EMI, ASPM, no clue, um, no clue, it's all disabled. Onboard device configuration, audio, as media, USB 3, battery charging support, um, I can see there in an add on. Imagine it charges it when it's turned off, it's probably what that's for. Um, as media, SATA Express controller, hot plug notification. SPM support, Bluetooth is enabled, Wi-Fi, the LAN controller, and PXC option ROM disabled. Advanced power management configuration, ERP ready, I disable that for overclocking purposes. Um, restore power after power outage, off, um, power on by PCIe or PCI, disabled, I actually want that enabled. So I can do wake on land. I haven't done yet yet with this. You will need to enable that. Um, RTC is to set like a timer to automatically turn your system on for you at a set time. Um, network stack configuration, network stack disabled, ROG effects, the LED, and then the ROG, that LED that's on the little heatsink below your processor. And you can turn that on and off as well. It for advanced. We've got the monitor tab here, my CPU temps, motherboard temps, VRM temps, PCH temps. Um, I have a sensor one plugged in, two and three I don't. Um, my CPU fan speed, um, chassis 1A, one A, one or one A, two A, and so on. All your different fan speeds. Core voltage, 3.35, 12 voltage, cache voltage, pretty much all your voltages, all your readings. Um, Q fan tuning here. No, we don't want to do this. This is to automatically tune your fans and detect their lowest speed that they can go without actually stopping. Um, you need a DC motor, PL PWM fans, um, all of these are DC fans in here. You can just set your Q fan control, which is like the sensor for that one. It actually turns this fan up and down. I have it in my video cards. Boot. Fast boot enabled. SATA support. Yep. USB partial initialization. Just for fast boot. Um, PS2 keyboard and mouse. Auto network stack. Nope. Um, next boot after power loss would be a normal boot. 
a boot logo display auto. That's just to turn the ROG logo on or off. Um, post delay time, three seconds. So that way you have some time to start hitting the delete key. Otherwise, these things can go so fast you don't even have a chance. Boot up number lock, enable. I like number lock. Um, wait for F1 error, enable. Some of this I don't know. CSM compatibility, this is for like Windows 8, need secure boot, that kind of thing. There's the secure boot, Windows boot manager, boot override. Um, if you select one of these devices and when you restart, it's going to boot from that specific device. So that way you don't actually have to go in and change the order, it's just a one time thing. Tool menu, GPU post. It'll tell you all the graphics cards installed. You can say I have one and one, two, and three. Um, that's three uh, GTX 980s. Um, they're all running at 8x. And it is a 28 lane CPU. So 81624, that's four lanes left. Um, for like an M.2 drive. Easy flash utility to update your uh, your BIOS on there. You put on a flash drive and do it very easily with that. Um, setup animator, not a clue. Secure erase, never used it, but it will erase your drive securely. Um, overclocking profiles, you can set different profiles. Um, BIOS flashback, um, force BIOS to boot. Um, you can also copy your primary bias to your second in case something happens or whatever it may be. An OC panel H key configure. I don't even know what the H key is. It's probably something when you have it out on the desktop mode, not in the case like I do. And your SPD information which just gives you your timings and stuff for your memory modules. Oops. Which are all going to be the same for me. And it's just DDR4 2400. That's it there. Um, standard exit menu, load optimized defaults, um, save your changes, discard changes, launch the EFI shell. Um, then you got up on top here, favorites. You can actually make a favorites menu with frequent things that you visit or change that you would want to have easy access to. I don't really care. Um, Q fan control is to set up your, your fan profiles. You can set up um, Little curves, things like that, turbo full speed, um, DC or PWM mode. Pretty neat stuff. Um, tuning wizard. Um, this will kind of automatically tune your computer for you. I've never used it, um, I just did it manually by hand. Uh, quick notes, you can leave some notes in here for some reason that you may need in the future. And then the hotkeys, which just different hotkeys. Um, you push on your keyboard, boom, go straight there. Uh, on the right side as well, we got some status information, voltage, clock speeds, all that good stuff. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think that pretty much covers it. Um, you can set the date and the time. Um, but yeah, I think that's pretty much it on the Rampage 5 Extreme. Uh, thanks for watching.